welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and today we're going to do another one of my murder and makeup series. Today we're talking about Janine Jones. She was a serial killer of infants. Well, she was released from prison in March and she's in jail awaiting arraignment on a $2 million bond right now. So I'm going to use my Thank Me Later primer. Studio Sculpt from MAC, my Thank Me Later eye primer. So Janine got her nursing license in 1977. She had been a beautician before that. She went uh, to become a nurse because in her childhood, in her teens, both of her brothers had died as well as her father who died from cancer. I'm mentioning this because I believe this had a pretty serious impact on her decision to become a nurse and why she did what she did. She becomes a nurse in 1977. She works at several hospitals in the San Antonio area for several years. In 1981, she's working at Vexer Hospital in San Antonio, Texas. So now I'm using the Studio Sculpt and I'm going to use a little bit of Milani because I'm super neutral and finding the right shade match is really hard for me. So she's working at these hospitals and well, they have several complaints from nurses. On her shift, she has a lot of emergency calls. Several infant deaths had happened way more than normal. So I'm gonna use my Smashbox contour set to do my contour real quick. So they notice this anomaly and they have nurses complaining you know, on her shift, she has all these infant code blues. And the hospital refers to them as anomalies. <laughs> well, what do they do about these anomalies of these infants that were coming in? And they might have pneumonia or something or some other minor illness well not minor but some other illness they would have a code blue and janine would be on the scene saving the baby immediately and seemed to know exactly what was going on with them every single time the nurses noticed this and tried to bring this to the attention of the hospital and it was getting so that parents were actually requesting her because she seemed to know when these incidents were going to happen because she was causing them so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Concealer and Tarte Shape the Tape Concealer. Of course, she knows, you know, exactly what's going to happen. And she's right on the scene saving these babies. Except for she doesn't save all of them. And they were having so many calls in a two-week period. Now we have a problem. So what do they do? Do they call the police and report a murder? No. They look at this and say, oh man we're open to liability here so they give her a reference and send her on her way and that's how she ends up in the employee of dr holland in Curryville, texas um brow power so she's in Curryville in a brand new clinic all they do is pediatric care most clinics rarely see an ambulance come to it this one, within a very short amount of time, seven ambulance calls in a two-week period. Well, that set up alarm bells for the medical board in Carryville, Texas, because, you know, they're smaller areas, so they're noticing this. It's a clinic, not a hospital. So they shouldn't be having these issues. So they call in the doctor, Dr. Holland, who is a pediatric doctor she says I don't know what's going on yeah this is happening but you know I trust my nurses and everything and they're doing an active investigation so this causes her to go back to the clinic so she calls in her staff and starts asking them questions and when she gets to Janine Janine has this really odd problem Janine comes in and says oh remember the sex Nicoleen we lost and I had to order a new bottle. Maybe we should get rid of the bottle that was lost that I found. Well, that, of course, set up alarm bells immediately. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Tarte Showstopper palette. It looks like this. I love this palette. And we're gonna do a really pretty rose gold look today. And I'm just gonna use that as a base shade. This is gonna go on my lid. This will go in my outer corner. And this is also gonna go on my lid. And then I'm gonna go into my Juvia's Place palette and use the rose gold out of this as well. Those two right there. Just create a really blended, shiny, shimmery look. But first we're gonna take this brown and start building up my outer corner. The doctor has her in there and she's talking about the sex Nicoline that mysteriously turned up. So the doctor takes the 
medication and takes it to the board of medicine and says, hey, my nurse, when I went and questioned her, she said something about this that I found very odd. So they send these bottles off for testing and they find that there have been needle punctures in the top and that 80% of these bottles are water. So all these babies that have been having problems have been being poisoned. In the meantime, the little girl who died, Chelsea McClellan, her parents are out at the cemetery putting down the grave marker and who's standing there at her grave crying but Janine Jones. They found this kind of odd, but they thought maybe, you know, she felt bad because of what had happened. All right, so I'm gonna take that rose gold and I'm gonna put it in my outer corner. So they comfort her and say, you know, we're so sorry that you normally would do when you see somebody in distress, not knowing that this woman had murdered their daughter. So she's charged with this murder in 1982, but when the medical examiner gets looking into it because he now has to go investigate, he realizes that there's deaths going back Potentially 60 children were murdered, but the hospital covered it up. Now, I think they should have been charged with manslaughter. And as far as I know, all that happened was that they got a lawsuit and sued and had to pay out a bunch of money. And a couple of people got fired. In my opinion, they were just damn near as guilty as she was. All right, so I'm going to take Flula, which is this one here. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. So now they know that she's been killing kids. And the medical examiner realizes when he's going through all these cases, she's been killing for years. Well, in the 1980s, for this stuff to be tested, it was really expensive. So they charge her with Chelsea McClellan's murder and the attempted murder of another little boy. She gets 99 years and 60 years that they have run currently, which means they run together. In the meantime, Texas passes law that says because they have so much overcrowding in their prison, she's eligible for parole after serving half her sentence. So 33 years is all she would have to serve, which meant she would have been released in March. How do you release somebody who has murdered 60 infant. Um, and the number on that is super vague. Uh, some sources say there were 20, some say 60. I don't suppose anybody really knows. Not all of them died. Some of them she did save. She is what, as a super nurse, because she wasn't actually trying to kill the babies, even though that happened a lot. She wanted the adulation and hero worship that comes with saving them. I suspect that when her brothers died and her father died when she was in her teens, something was triggered within her that made her think of nurses and doctors as being sort of superheroes. And she wanted that adulation, so this is how she went about doing it. Um, this is the pure eye polish in Name Nameslay or something like that. It's super pretty and it goes so well with those Stila Rose Gold Retro. I just really like them together. So I suspect that in her formative years, when some girls turned to sex for attention, she uh, instead decided that nurses and doctors got that kind of attention saving people. She craved it so she would create these situations. She either didn't care or couldn't figure out how to get the dose right to simply cause an event and not a death. Well, that's pretty difficult to do because these are infants and they're sick. So it doesn't take a lot of thought to realize that if you get off by even a tiny amount, you're going to potentially kill a baby and that, that amount could change dramatically simply depending on how sick they were. She claimed after her conviction, this was all a cover up. Dr. Holland had killed Chelsea through her incompetence. Never mind that there was absolutely no reason for her to have secnicoline in her system. And she didn't use, just use sexnicoline, which stops the heart. She also used digoxin and heparin, and those impact bleeding and stuff, which made it harder for them to determine that she was the actual culprit. So I'm gonna take that highlight and highlight up here around my brow bone. She absolutely 
trying to cover up what, you know, hide what she was doing. The other nurses knew she was doing this and they reported her not just to the hospital, did they also actually went out of their way and told Dr. Holland that they were suspicious that she was causing these children's deaths. There are a lot of people in this case that I think should have paid a bigger price. She certainly deserved the biggest one. The board of directors who decided to just let her go on her merry little way after killing all these children instead of turning her in and getting her off the streets deserved to get turned in and to be held accountable because she was supposed to be released this year and there was huge outrage over it they indicted her for the death of joshua sawyer around the time that that happened um and that this all started coming out that she was going to be released back in 2001 the board of nursing took it upon themselves to send her a letter saying that she was banned from ever practicing nursing again. And she wrote them a letter back and said, well, I you know, haven't applied for my nursing license to be reviewed in 30 some years. And then she said, I committed these heinous crimes. I don't deserve to be a nurse. I wasn't in my right mind at the time. And I deeply apologize. Well, nobody knew about this letter until just about a year ago when somebody who was very interested in this case posted about it on Facebook. And then the district attorney's office went, wait, we could use that to indict her. This is colored rain. I think this one is in pink. She has been indicted and she is in jail awaiting trial there. But the fact of the matter is she could easily get out. It's really hard to try a cold case, especially one like this. And I suspect, even though in that letter she was like, I'm so sorry, I did this. I don't think she's going to say that in court. The last time she was in court, she took real issue with it, even though they were able to prove and had other nurses and everybody come and talk about her and the things she was doing. She still denied, denied, denied and blamed it all on everybody else. These type of killers, they don't stop. So letting her out on society, even at her age, is a risky thing. You know, that might sound mean, but some people should never be allowed out of prison and people who murder infants, in my book, they don't get to get out. She is gonna say what she's gotta say to try to get out of jail. I'm not the only one who thinks that. Chelsea's mother has said the same thing. She said, when she ran into her at her daughter's gravesite, she was crying and in tears and, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And then she goes to court and she doesn't testify, but the whole message is totally different. This is Superhero from It Cosmetics. I do and don't like this mascara. I think it looks really pretty on, but it flakes really badly on me. It is late and I'm refilming this, so I'll be just taking it off again. I'm gonna use this Stila Lip Topper Glitter. Stuff is so pretty. It astonishes me that I'm talking to you about something. Somebody who potentially murdered 60 children in the 80s and could be getting out anytime now. I mean, this is when I gotta say there's a huge failure of our justice system. I don't think she should be allowed out ever, 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 ever. Okay, I'm gonna take my John to Blue eyeliner. Eyeline my eye real quick, I forgot to. This is my look, my very rose gold look for today. This case, it just blows my mind because I just can't believe that the, somebody who killed this many people could be ever let out. This is the type of person I would expect the death penalty to apply to, and it didn't. And now we're going to have to do something to try to retry her. The parents of these children are very much alive and deserve justice. They deserve to know that she is never getting out of prison. I can't imagine if somebody killed my children and then they even thought about releasing them because I would just kill them. I mean, that sounds terrible, I know, but I can't help it. It just astonishes me that this is even happening. There are so many things about this case that are so screwed up. As always, there will be a child abuse hotline down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments about this case. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll talk to you later. Bye!